So many exciting announcements from Adobe Max this year. The privilege and the pleasure of being there in person, thanks to Adobe Express, who is sponsoring this video. I'm sharing with you the top six features announced for Adobe Firefly and Adobe Express, the best AI tools. For small businesses, corporations, creatives, and marketers, everyone should be excited by what is here. Stay with me. I'm Phil Palin, a brand strategist, content creator, and an agency owner. Welcome to my channel where I promise practical advice to build your brand. I'm so glad you're here. I feel like every day I'm addressing the needs of both creatives and marketers. And I'm not sure I've ever been this excited by how both of those parties can work in tandem thanks to new features dropped by Adobe Firefly and Adobe Express at Adobe Max last month. So much to show you, but I'm narrowing down to my top six favorites. Let's start with one that is absolutely epic in Adobe Firefly. Announced at Max, Firefly Image 2 model. This is seriously even an upgrade from Image 1, which is already amazing. It's gonna enable you to create beautiful photorealistic work with impressive detail, like some of these examples on screen. Realism, so let's say my company Bodea, which is, I don't know, a global airline, let's say. Here you can see it's set up in Adobe Express. Let's pretend that it is celebrating its 10th anniversary, okay? And I wanna play the role of creative. So I wanna create a really unique visual for our company wide email newsletter that let's say regional marketing teams are gonna to wanna to leverage. Something so unique that I can't find it as a stock photo. So it's something I'm going to actually create. Let's click down here and type an airplane made from chocolate and marshmallows with confetti. That sounds fun. I'm gonna go ahead and click generate. While that's generating, you'll notice here on the right-hand side some new features. If you've, uh, you know, if you've used image one, you'll see some new things, visual intensity, strength, more photo settings, even an option here to exclude from image if there's something in particular that you want to exclude. Should just be a few more seconds, there we go. That is definitely a chocolate airplane and marshmallows, but let's say I'm going for something even more specific. Let's say I've got a reference image. This I just found for an example in Adobe Stock. These are chocolate covered marshmallows, very specific. So what I can actually do is click this, upload your image. We can upload this reference image. We'll click continue, it'll upload. And again, very, very specific reference image. We'll click generate again. And you'll actually watch here in a few moments how it's going to incorporate or reference that. I should note at the time recording this video, Firefly Image 2 is still in beta, so it's not available for commercial use yet. But like we saw with Image 1, we expect that to evolve soon. Have a look at my chocolate and marshmallow airplane with a very specific reference image. I mean, the results are absolutely impressive. So that's image two beta from Adobe Firefly. I'm having so much fun with that one. The next feature is powered by Adobe Firefly as well, and it can be one that you can actually try today in Illustrator beta. Let's take a closer look. Also announced at Max, which I'm really excited about, Firefly vector model, which includes text to vector graphic in Adobe Illustrator. I'm gonna show you that right now. I'm actually gonna select scene. I've already got it selected, but I've got a few other options here. And we're gonna type in a similar prompt to what we looked at a second ago. An airplane made from, and we actually have it here from history. Perfect, I'm gonna select that. And while that's waiting, I'll I'll explain, I chose scene, but you can also choose subject, icon, pattern, all best in class, scalable artwork. And because it's vector, that means I can make it as big or as small as I want, beautiful. So this little scene we've created in literally just a few seconds from a text prompt, which is so super cool. Now, what if you wanna use your own artwork as a reference image? So in this case, I have this existing artboard, which paints a little scene and I wanna to add to it. What I can do is I can actually, in this case, toggle subject and I'll toggle this on, match active artboard style. What that's gonna do, I'll hit generate, is it's gonna give us some options that will indeed match the artboard style behind it. This is a great way to create high quality complementary images, quick turn for marketing. Really, there's just so many use cases for this that are so, so awesome. Have a look at our little airplane made from chocolate and marshmallows that suits perfectly this little scene and style. And again, some more variations here, thanks to Adobe Firefly that always gives us a few different options. That's text to vector image, still in beta, but you can actually try this out for yourself now in Illustrator beta. Over to Express now. We've looked at a few ways that creatives can focus on their high impact work with apps like Firefly and Photoshop and Illustrator. They're also using Adobe Express to accelerate their workflow without losing creative control. These next two features are perfect for that. Here's a poster that I created quickly for an event from this template that you see right here. Adobe Express now has layer locking. So you right click on an element and you can select lock. And that means that is yes, in fact, locked. And you can see from that little icon that shows up. This is perfect for when creative 
executives hand off tasks to marketers who obviously they wanna to get to market fast. In the coming year, this is super cool. As you mentioned, Adobe Express is introducing more precision control to template locking, like locking specific elements within a project so that other users are unable to move the position or change colors. I also think in the future, depending on the level of control assigned, users can only choose options based on what is permitted by the organization. So some really awesome features there specifically for small businesses, corporations. There is definitely a lot to look forward to with layer and template locking. Let me select to the next page to show you this next feature. This one has been a huge hit in Photoshop. Now generative fill is in Adobe Express, so we can select that. Once we've selected the image, here we can adjust our brush size and I'll go ahead and select whatever it is that I want to use generative fill on. In this case, it is getting rid of those cups. I'm gonna select generate. Like generative fill in Photoshop, the prompt is optional. So in this case, I kept it blank so that the AI can work its magic and identify what it wants to change. In just a few seconds here, she give me a few options. There you go, no more cups. So awesome. And that's uh, again, generative fill in Adobe Express, you do not even have to open Adobe Photoshop for this anymore. So good. Of course, you can be like me and hop between Express and Photoshop, just depending on the task at hand. With linked assets, it's really easy to access your libraries and files across both. Now, what if you want to translate content? You can do that now in Express in a single click. Check this out. Back to our poster for this one, we are gonna select Translate up here, which is a brand new feature. You can translate content into 45 different languages. So let's say we have offices. At Bodea, we have offices in Japan and Mexico. We can go ahead and select those languages for those markets, Japanese, Spanish. Literally now it's a matter of just clicking duplicate and translate and in seconds we can localize the content that we've created just like that. I'll go ahead and click this bigger so you can see it. Really, really simple. So awesome to be able to empower businesses to scale their ability to create meaningful content, personalized per region, super, super easy and awesome and convenient. So that is the new translate functionality in Adobe Express, I love it. One more feature for you today that I think is an absolute game changer. It's built on the new Firefly design model. This feature is called text to template in beta. From the homepage at Adobe Express, you know you've got the four Adobe Firefly integrations, features powered by Adobe Firefly here. We're gonna use text to template. As I mentioned in beta, you can generate amazing editable templates using just a text description. So let's try it out. An invitation for the Bodea. 10th anniversary party with cake, pizza, and prizes. That is my kind of party. Let's like generate. Remember that I can easily add my brand colors, fonts, and logos in a few clicks when the brand is already set up in Adobe Express as a library, for example. This is just another way that teams can save time and marketers to create quickly in Adobe Express. Here we're looking for the bones of a great design poster that we can then apply our brand and elements and tweaks to later. This is gonna save you a ton of time and there are some really great options here. And if you want more, you can select generate more results. That's the joy of this. Text to template in Adobe Express. It's our final feature highlight from Adobe Max, where so many other features were mentioned. I hand selected a few today. The ones that I'm excited about and the ones I think that small businesses and organizations will get the most benefit from. I'm so curious to hear which ones that you're going to incorporate into your own creative workflow and try for yourself. Let me know in the comments below. I've also linked to everything that I've covered in this video in the description below with links so you can learn more. Go ahead, check those out. If you've got any lingering questions, comment below. Let's keep the conversation going on down there. Respond to those personally. And if you enjoyed this video, give it a like. That helps other people discover these videos which we work hard to create for you. And subscribe for more of my videos on branding, positioning, building, and promoting your brand. Thank you Adobe Express for sponsoring this video and for all the opportunities that I get to collaborate with you. It truly brings me joy every single time. Next, I'm sharing a few videos I think you'll be interested in. I'm Phil Palin, thanks for watching those coming up next.